You ever see MLB players with their brand new gloves and they're all worked in perfectly and game ready right away? Well, that's because they work it in a certain way. So today I'm going to show you how they do it and we're going to work in your glove quickly and effectively so it can be game ready right away. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Northern Baseball Training. If you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos, and smash that like button in advance. So you just got a new glove, maybe it was a Christmas present, and you want to use it right away, but your gloves always take forever to work in. Well, we're going to change that today, but before you start, you need to know how you like your glove worked in. Okay, gloves are very personal, it's all about personal preference. How you like the pocket, where you want to put your fingers, whether you want to put two fingers in the pinky hole like a lot of guys, where you want it to hinge, whether you want it to hinge in two spots like that and go pinky to thumb, or just one spot like that for the smaller pocket. If you don't know these things, then you probably shouldn't have an expensive glove, and you should go with the cheaper version so you can figure out how you like it. For example, if you're an outfielder, you're gonna want a bigger pocket, so you're probably gonna go two fingers in the pinky hole and go pinky to thumb for that bigger pocket. But if you're a middle infielder, you want a smaller pocket for those quick transitions. And some guys like their thumb flared out like that and their pinky flared out like I do. But again, it's all about personal preference. So everything I'm about to show you might scare you a little bit, but trust me, it works and it's what the pros do. Okay, so what you're gonna need is a mallet. I'm just gonna use a small bat, but I'll link a real glove mallet below. A foam pad and some hot water. Okay, but the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our glove like this and we're just gonna massage the seams like that. Okay, just grind it, loosen up the seams, loosen up the leather. Do this for about 10, 15 minutes straight. Just really soften up these seams. After you've done that for around 20 minutes and really loosen up that hinge and soften up the leather, now we're gonna go onto the pocket. Okay, go wet it with some hot water, which I already did, and we're gonna start to work the pocket. Okay, we're just gonna fold it and massage it like this. Now I know it might seem scary, but trust me, it works. It's not gonna wreck the glove, they're built for this. Just make sure when you're doing that, that you don't bend the pinky or the thumb too much because they have a piece of plastic in here that'll break. Okay, so we're just gonna massage it just like this. Then we're gonna grab the mallet and we're just gonna beat in the pocket. After you've worked in the pocket, we're going to start working the outside and start folding it at the seams and keep pounding away. When you're doing this part, watch out for your fingers. Really just working in the leather and softening up the leather. So repeat that process for another 20 to 30 minutes. Really work on creating those break points for your hand and working in the leather. After that, take a break for about 30 minutes to an hour and then come back and repeat the whole process over again. Remember that gloves are very personal and sacred, so don't you ever put your hand in another man's glove without asking first. Thanks for watching guys. If you wanna see our latest video on our brand new hit track system, click the link above and I'll see you next week.